Peace, peace, family. Welcome to another episode of YP Higher Perspective, where we review internet media content via news clips, entertainment, or everyday recordings, and we give you a higher cognitive disposition in regards to the subject matter at hand. Today, family, we're going to be giving you a higher perspective in regards to an incident that happened on believe on what I believe to be Teen Mom. I don't know if it was a reunion or whatever, because I don't watch Teen Mom, but this is an important issue that I need to speak on due to you know, what happened and took place in regards to this particular event. And so we have Colin Kaepernick's uh, partner or girlfriend, spouse, whatever you want to call her, uh, Nisa Diab, if that's how you say her name, uh, confronting Janelle Evans, who made uh, racially inappropriate statements uh, towards Colin Kaepernick in regards to this situation to which she walked off and started crying and started to try to play the victim after she was confronted about what she chose to tweet about a situation that had nothing to do with her. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this clip as we always do, and then I'm going to give the higher perspective. And with that being said, let's pull it up. Here we go. Bam. Janelle, this is an open, healthy conversation that I would like to have with you. Mm -hmm. Please understand something. My man used his platform to peacefully protest systemic oppression in this country, specifically okay. police brutality against black people. Okay. Men, women, and children are dying, wrongfully dying, and people who are doing this are not being held accountable. Okay. That is the issue. It has nothing to do with military men, military women, okay? Because they fought for our Constitution to peacefully protest, all of us. I would have appreciated if you had contacted me, I would have been more than happy, Janelle, to, I, to have a healthy conversation. Uh, I, would I don't, know, I don't right? know anything about your husband. I swear to God. So wait, no, Janelle, I'm done with I'm done with this. Bull <laughs> this is exactly why I didn't come here. Janelle, why, this can't, is why, why like, can't you have an open this conversation? Is about, no, this is about our, this is about my storyline. I wanted to tell and you. And you want to bring up your issues. No, you want to bring up teen mom to bring up. Janelle, this is okay, an cut open it healthy conversation. Storyline? It's about you. Let me, Janelle, let me tell you something. Janelle, let me say what nobody else was able to say because they were trying to be professional. Bye, bitch. Nobody give a fuck about you walking off crying, bitch, with them boogahoo, boohoo tears, bitch. First of all, it's not about your storyline. Fuck your storyline, okay? This is about you making a sarcastic, I mean, excuse me, a sarcastic statement towards a situation that affects an entire ethnicity of people. How would you like if I made a joke about how there's more white people dying than there are being born? You would feel some type of way about that, okay? You know why I don't make those statements? Not only because I understand white people would assume that I'm trying to attack them as a race, it's inappropriate for me to be making statements like that Okay? Without setting the proper intention of why I would say that. You made a joke about the uh, black employment rate is so low underneath the rule of Donald Trump, even Colin Kaepernick found a job. Why would you make a joke like that knowing that Colin Kaepernick was only out of a job due to racism and knowing that everybody doesn't like Donald Trump due to racism? So you basically supported a racist and tried to downplay a person that was fighting against and was himself a victim of racism, okay? And so now what happens is you get confronted and now you want to, oh, I don't know anything about your husband. Do you know what adults do in situations when it involves people that they don't know? Shh. They shut the fuck up. They don't speak on them, okay? I don't speak on no shit that I don't know about. If that chopstick ain't on me, I don't go out. Now I'm just playing that side of baby. But with that being said, I don't speak on no shit that I don't know about. I be quiet. That's what you should have did. You opened the door for this woman to walk in and check you, okay, when you chose to put yourself in that position, okay? If I open the door and I start talking about other races, I can't be mad when other races start talking about me, okay? So, apparently, you belong on Team Mom. Because you still a motherfucking child in your motherfucking mind. And you crying, okay? Because you don't get to have your moment. But when we're talking about racism, we're talking about a whole race of people, my people, who to this day, like Deontay Wilder said, to this day, don't get to have their moment. So, nobody give a fuck about them boo-hoo white tears that you crying. Nobody give a fuck about those because you're not a victim of colors only. 
You're not a victim of higher insurance because you live in the inner city. You're not a victim of redlining, can't buy a home or become a homeowner. You're not a victim of can't afford to go to motherfucking college. You're not a victim of your community being flooded with drugs by the same motherfucking government that locked you the fuck up for using the goddamn drugs, okay? So you're not a, and I can go down the motherfucking list. You don't know what it's like to deal with systematic racism and then the same system that's supposed to fix the racism is still offering to you systematic oppression, okay? So you can talk, you got, you got so much white privilege, you can make an offensive joke and then cry and then play victim when you get confronted about how you were offensive. So I'm not nice. Like, boss, I'm like that nigga on life with Myron Lawrence and uh, Eddie Murray. I ain't nice like boss. I'm not going to tell you, Janelle, I would have had a nice conversation with you. Bitch, I would have told you to mind your motherfucking business, bitch, and shut the fuck up. Mind your motherfucking business, bitch. Shut up. You should have been tweeting about teen mom with your, with your, bitch, go to, bitch, go, go, stop having kids, okay? That's what you worry about. You worry about having, having children at a proper age. Don't worry about what's going on in the motherfucking black community, okay? Because you worried about Donald Trump, okay? You need to be worried about closing your motherfucking legs and raising them little motherfucking Yankee-ass kids that you have and minding your motherfucking business. So, with that being said, I don't give a... I'm not nice. Don't play with mine. Don't, don't play with mine. Nobody give a fuck about them crocodile-ass tears that you want to cry. And so, I'm going to say what everybody else can't say because I don't give a fuck. And so, with that being said, Janelle, open your motherfucking mouth. And open doors, and we walk in those doors. And so my thing is this. Let me give a disclaimer. I'm not racist. I'm not any of that. But I don't play that bullshit. As I, as I don't expect nobody else to. If a, if a motherfucker see me getting verbally out of pocket, I expect you to defend yourself. And so as a black man, don't, don't play with racial issues. Because them shits affect me, bitch. I can't just cry and play victim when a motherfucker pull me over. And decide to be racist. I can't just cry and play victim when I don't get the motherfucking job because my name not white enough. I can't just cry and play motherfucking victim when I, uh, I, I don't get to go to school and learn my history and heritage. I don't get to go to school and learn my motherfucking uh, sense of spirituality. I don't even know who the fuck my great great goddamn grandparents is because you motherfuckers sold them all over the goddamn world. And bitch you got, you got the nerve to sit here and cry and play motherfucking victim. Let me tell you something. You better be lucky niggas don't give a fuck. Because if niggas gave a fuck, they would burn this motherfucker to the ground. So you better be lucky that niggas give more fuck about ass shaking and world star hip hop than they do about how much actual wealth and resources was actually stolen from us. So I'm going to tell you what. The next time some shit happen and the next time black employment rates get low, Get on Twitter and say something positive. Don't get on there and try to be cute. Because I'm going to tell you what. Bitch, you're not. You're not cute in no type of way. In real life or TV life. And so that being said, family, this was another higher perspective. And the perspective, I mean the higher perspective of this video is, watch your motherfucking mouth. Okay? And don't, and don't, try, to, don't try to cry and play victim. Okay? Because nobody's going for that. Everybody's not going for that. Sit your bitch ass down, shut the fuck up, and get the fuck off Twitter trying to be funny, okay? Because you talking about unemployment. It took long enough, motherfucker, for the unemployment race to be this low. Goddamn, it took long enough, motherfucker. Why don't you make a tweet, bitch, about how the Clintons, okay, lock, lock the whole goddamn black community up? Why don't you motherfucking take a, make a tweet about how Ronald Reagan brought them fucking drugs? And why don't you make a fucking tweet about the war on drugs that was used to lock niggas up after them same fucking... Uh, government and politicians brought the drugs in to fuel the motherfucking Vietnam War. Why don't you talk about all that? But you want to sit here and make tweets to defend the racist. Okay? Bitch, be fair. Be fair. At least if you're going to throw a low blow, go for the head after. Okay? If you're going to up Donald Trump, talk about motherfucking 9-11. Talk about that. So my thing is this. Bitch, don't be one way. Be every way. And if not, be gone, bitch. And with that being said, family, uh, this video right here was not to offend anybody or incite any form of racism in any way. This video right here was to let y'all know that you need to watch what you say because there's a potential you can offend somebody. I'm pretty sure I probably might have offended you in this video and I'm pretty sure I probably don't give a fuck either. And so that being said, watch your mouth. 
when you're speaking on another person's race. Because what you don't give a fuck about might be the most important thing to somebody else. You're not hungry, but it's somebody that's starving. You're not homeless, but it's somebody that's homeless. You're not on, you don't, when, when, when white women get pregnant, they get on teen mom. When black women get pregnant, they get kicked the fuck out. We don't get teen mom, bitch. And so that being said, you even privileged enough to have a fucking child underage and get a show about it. You, you have an underage kid, bitch, you get paid. We have underage kids, we get slayed. You privileged, bitch. You privileged. I'm tired of motherfuckers acting like they don't know that. So, so stop speaking on us sarcastically when not only y'all know we not privileged and not only are y'all the, y'all the reason that we not privileged, subconsciously, you know that you the reason that you won't even allow us to privilege our motherfucking selves to a certain extent. And with that being said, family, this video right here was to open your eyes up about ignorance that is per that is purposefully displayed by those who willingly choose to continue to exercise ignorance on the people, okay, that they speak about so that they don't have to show care or concern about their ways and actions towards those people. And with that being said, family, I love y'all. Peace.